August 6th, 2021. And I'll pick back up where I was uh, disrupted last time. Concerning these hybrids. Everything they do now at this point. Concerning mainstream media. Concerning social media. Is it's, it's designed to essentially mock the remaining human beings. Now the Gentiles have salvation, but they don't, their ability to grasp the gravity of the situation is uh, very limited. And, you know, you, you can, I, I try to talk to these people and what happens is it, it, you can't get through because the the reality of this 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 life, whatever it is, whatever wherever you find yourself, your position, your place within this reality, and again, you know, drop the fact that hey, forget about being American, forget about being Mexican, forget about being Chinese, forget about being. Uh, Colombian, forget about being, uh, you know, take your pick, you're human first. These hybrids, they could care less about you because what, why, why is that? It, it, it's a behavioral pattern that's been developed over thousands of years, and <laughs> They, they, they can't break free from what, whatever it is. They can't break free. Now, I'm starting to believe that Gentiles may have the slit eye. Now, for some of you, that might be hard to believe. But remember, the whole shape-shifting, the electromagnetic distortion issue is still taken as a joke. If, you know, even though I'm sure YouTube, it's, it's like almost like YouTube is a universe and you have people that might be over by, you know, Venus and the people that are on planet Earth have no clue what the people are doing over on Venus. Meaning there could be a, a good individual that has a YouTube channel, a social media platform speaking about things that you know, people take take as a joke. They don't take it seriously. And this this is what speaks to exactly that. This is how they mock all of us. My 500-year plan to alter human DNA to make us ready to colonize other planets. Now, this comes from RT News. And, you know, essentially... Look, we talk about cloning. We talk about, uh, you, you know, genetic manipulation. And they've been doing this all along. We don't know how long the Pete, the controllers, have been fiddling with this, this type of activity. But now what they're doing is they, they're trying to normalize everything. They're trying to normalize Satanism. They're trying to normalize experimentation on humans. And they, they do it in a way that, they, like I said, they, 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 they get these hybrid freak agents and they're all, all trained, college educated, right? They, they got an education. They all, you know, they speak in low tones. They uh, will, will show little emotion. And it, it's, it's all part of their act, folks, because real humans, once they figure out about the false reality, some of them will be upset. And the way they express themselves, like I do, being an MK Ultra survivor, put through satanic ritual abuse, and these implants that kept me up all last night. And the clicking in the back of my neck that's been going on for a very long time. I, it's so clear. So 
again, if someone had, uh, you go back and listen to my videos, you know, three, four years ago, I always said that I will never be well-spoken. I can't approach this as this uh, mealy mouth, you know, people getting up there that got their self involved with this whole reptilian business. But then they make these videos. Ooh, look, look how well I'm doing. Look, oh, this, this is, you know, my life. And they think somehow <laughs> that every single individual on planet Earth that has any amount of success is due to Satan. I know you, you think you went to college. You think you worked hard your whole life. But the system that we were all forced to be under, some people won't succeed. Others do succeed. And necessarily that might not make them bad people. But the realization is, is once you begin to cross the line and speak out about some of the peculiarities of this existence... You become a target, a targeted individual, which, again, I, don't, I shouldn't even say the word anymore because once I do this, it, it sets me off. There was no targeted individual community. They're all gone. Everybody that I saw from 2016, there's a couple hangers on. I don't understand how someone can insert themselves into the targeted individual community and never make a video trying to describe what's happening to them. They just make these dopey comments and uh, it's clear as day who, who is not on the up and up. So let's get back to this before I get off track. All right, here we go. Now, this is the interviewer. I don't care about him, but I could, you know, do this all day long. It's these geometric patterns, these straight lines. Now look, a human being, when they're making rapid movements, they're in motion, you, you will have some type of electromagnetic distortion, but you'll never get these fine geometric patterns, these fine lines that somehow are, they're on all these hybrids. It just, you can't get around it anymore when you look look at his lip and all that. Now, again, if someone had been put through satanic ritual abuse, satanic rituals, loaded down with demons, and experimented on to try to change their DNA, is that going to maybe cause uh, some of these anomalies? Well, possibly so. So if you use me as an example, go back and look at all my videos. You people gave it your best shot to try to make me look like the reptilian. But again, none of you, none of you got it. Yes, there's some of you trying and you're good people. I get this. I don't put everybody in the same basket. But the, the, the bottom line is, is I am presenting this evidence that's undisputable and this is why i'm the most censored person all right i'll never forget when i saw divine truth uh what was it over a year or so ago she was at three thousand subscribers i watched the video late at night and then i woke up the next day and she was almost at seven thousand how did you come on people so what happens is this this guy is interviewing this genetic scientist from Cornell, this young gentleman, okay? And if you watch the video, again, the Millie Mouth, uh, there, there's no, they, they talk about this, like they truly believe in what they're presenting. So he looks normal right here, okay? You have this shaft of light coming down. Now watch this, all right? Okay, first... First, we notice the electromagnetic distortion on one of his hands. That's because he was in motion. He was putting his, just how you see it, positioning his hands as people do make, you know, hand gestures when they speak. We know that. But why? Why is one hand okay and the other not? I, I don't, you know... This isn't the most damning evidence. And, you know, there could be something other than the fact that this guy's a flaming hybrid. 
But here we go. The shaft of light coming straight down. Now look, 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 look at his nose. How this, this pattern, this line gets created. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. All right, it's not there in the beginning of the video. But as he starts doing his spiel, all right, you see this come up. And now what do I tell you? What do they all do, people? They have to cover their self because they know, they damn well know that they're the fraud phonies on limited amount of time. This isn't, look, <sighs> hybrids know they're different from humans. And <sighs> while maybe a human and a hybrid can get together, once, once you cross the line, and maybe, let's put it this way, we all know that sometimes we speak out of line. We don't intend to upset people, but look, we all think different. Our experiences cause the way we perceive the reality. In order to change behavior, you have to change perception. Now, if you look at my videos, use me as an example, okay? Do you ever see me start, you know, scratching and, and touching my nose, my face, covering up my face? No, you'll never see that. And it gets worse, okay? Now watch, look, he, he kinda he kinda corrects it, but now look at his eye. His eye's getting all whacked out. And look at the mouth. You, you just, <laughs> come on, do you see that? His, half his lip is now, it's missing. What is this? And this, look, I, I've come up with a lot of different ways to describe this, folks. The sawtooth effect, okay? And the other one that I am dead set on this, it's something, I call it the Klingon effect. Look how his forehead is getting all bumpy and stuff. I got Obama like that. He, he, he's really bad, all right? Now, okay, enough of him. Now, I wanted to go back to this Harkin character, okay? And I call this the pencil neck effect, all right? It's it just weird. And there's no way to explain this other than what it is. It don't look right. His neck is like, I don't know how to explain this, but it's not right. Now, the other thing about Harkin, all right, the phony targeted individual, this is all of them. I'm just using his as an example. This guy pretending to be a, a TI, 90,000 views, but look at the comments. I can barely get one or two comments on my videos. This guy has over 1,400 comments. Granted, the video is over four years old, but you can look at my videos going back four years ago. There's no views, there's no comments because you people aren't allowed to watch me. Because if you do, some of you, I'm, gonna, I'm going to wake you up, all right? So let's forget about him. I don't want to, you know, let's go back to Alex, okay? Now look at Alex. This is one of his recent videos on Sunday. He's telling you the lockdown's coming again. He's telling you essentially almost all the truth but this is a mouthpiece this is a satanist pretending to be something he's not what they do back in the 80s and 90s when they created the, the, the whole myth of the conspiracy theories that are kicked around the people that are the mouthpieces have signature events that propel them into the conspiracy theory world to try to give them credibility his signature event is back in uh, the early 90s. He shows up and disrupts George Bush's, uh, one of his um, town hall meetings, let's just say. And he gets carted off in handcuffs. And this was the beginning. And then you see shortly he had Bill Cooper on his show one time. And then the next thing you know, him and Bill Cooper are, are at odds. But who comes up dead? Bill Cooper. Now, he's been identified as a possible hybrid. I don't know if, if, you know, Bill's the real deal or not. I want to believe that. I want to believe that some of these Gentiles, um, that's why I'm saying if we 
say Bill Cooper is not the real deal, okay. But if he is, then that speaks to the fact that maybe Gentiles can have the slit eye under the right conditions, meaning the, the light. When the light hits the skin, hits the eyes, it does something. But also when they're, they, when they're t telling a lie, when you see that they're saying something that has no factual basis and they know that, you see these changes. So look at Alex. Look at his mouth, all right? Now, come on, people, man. Look at his eye. Look at his eye, folks. I don't know about the mustache thing. That looks weird, too. Come on, man. We got to wake up. Because, I'll, I'll, look, I'm not going to be around much longer. You people think it's a joke that I was raped, tortured, experimented on, stuffed with implants, and I can't find any male in my age group that can properly document any type of targeting as it relates to... The, the genesis of their targeting, meaning they were part of the original MK Ultra program, satanic ritual abuse, the whole nine yards. They're not there. It's all females. And that says something, too. So anyway, there you go. What more do you want from me, people?